So this backyard barbecue session has absolutely nothing to do with the video that I'm making today, but you know, I gotta eat, so and I'm since I'm waiting here and gotta babysit the grill anyway, I thought I might as well do a video. So uh, with all the talk about this new Rebel 1100, people have been asking me, am I going to buy it? And honestly, I still don't know yet. I would actually, I really, there's the things I really like about it, but I still really love the Indian Scout. And I don't really think that I have the money or the place to have lots of different motorcycles. So I've really got to make a decision. And I've got some things to pay off before I buy another motorcycle anyway. But today's video basically is the Rebel 1100, the Honda's Rebel 1100 versus the Indian Scout. Now if it was the Rebel 1100 versus the Scout 60, I'd take the Rebel 1100. But with the Rebel 1100 versus the regular Rebel, sorry, the regular Scout, it's a lot tougher decision. I mean, the Indian Scout has been my dream motorcycle for the longest time. And I've only known about the Rebel 1100 for a few months now. In fact, it hasn't even come to my area yet. The dealers expect to have it sometime this month, but they're not sure when. So. I'm going to talk about the differences between the two and why someone might want each one. And I know this might be a comparison that nobody wanted, nobody asked for, but you know, I can't be the only one that's considering these two motorcycles. So, the Rebel, the things that the Rebel has that the Indian doesn't, the Rebel has selectable ride modes, it has cruise control. It has uh, wheelie control, it has traction control, and it has ABS. Of course, ABS, you can get ABS on the Indian Scout, but it's not standard as an option. So those are the things that the Rebel has that the Indian doesn't. Now, the Indian Scout, it is a lot more iconic looking. In my opinion, it sounds better and it looks better. And despite the fact that the Rebel 1100 looks better on paper, I mean, it's got a slightly smaller engine, but on paper it looks better. The thing about a motorcycle is it's not just all about stats. A lot of a motorcycle has to do with how well it fits with you, with your personality, the look, the sound, the feel. And the Indian Scout just looks better, and it sounds better, and it's more iconic. So. Am I going to wind up with the Rebel 1100 or the Indian Scout? I'm really not sure. I just know that right now I'm just doing a pro-cons list and maybe by the time I have money I will know. Or there could be something else that have come, that's come out that I like more. But for now, those are really my two big contenders. The Rebel 1100 versus the Indian Scout. The Rebel 1100 has a lot more technology on it and it is a lot cheaper or a lot more affordable, I should say. But the Indian Scout has slightly uh, bigger engines, slightly more torque and horsepower, but it doesn't have the cruise control and it doesn't have all those other electronics. But realistically, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of cross-country trips. I mean, I'd like to think that I am, but realistically, I know that I'm not. I'm probably just going to be riding it at most a couple hours and most of the time I'll just be riding it around town so the Indian is probably the one that I would be the happiest with but I don't know I mean I'll have to see the Rebel 1100 to see anyhow that's enough of my pointless rambling for one day I will tend to my food here and I will catch you in the next video if anyone watching this video is contemplating between those two motorcycles the Rebel 1100 or the Indian Scout, uh, let me know down below uh, which one you chose and why. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time.